What exactly is hyperthreading? Now, hyperthreading is a technology developed by Intel that increases the performance of the CPU cores. It enables multiple threads, which are sequences of instructions, to be run by each core to make the CPU run more efficiently. And by doing this, the CPU can perform more tasks in the same amount of time. So in a nutshell, you can run a lot of applications at the same time while maintaining the performance of your computer when you have a hyper-threaded CPU. In other words, your computer is not going to slow down. Now in the beginning, a CPU will have a single core. And a core is a unit that reads and executes instructions. So later on, manufacturers started to add additional cores to a CPU so that the CPU can read and execute more instructions at a time, which dramatically increased the performance of the CPU. So for example, here we have a dual core CPU, which basically means that it has two physical processing units on a single chip. Now to further increase the performance of this CPU, and to make it faster even more, Intel introduced hyper-threading. So if hyper-threading technology was added to this CPU, for each physical core that's on the CPU, the operating system will recognize each physical core as two virtual or logical cores. So basically, hyper-threading virtually doubles the amount of cores that are on the CPU. So this dual-core processor will be recognized as having four cores through the lens of the operating system. Now keep in mind that hyper-threading doesn't double the physical cores in the CPU. It only doubles them virtually or logically. And since the operating system will recognize each physical core as two virtual cores, the operating system will schedule or share the workload between them. Each virtual core can be individually interrupted or directed to execute a specific instruction that is independent of the other virtual core. So that is the main function of hyperthreading, which is to increase the amount of independent instructions in the pipeline. And by doing this, it will eliminate any idle time on the CPU, which makes the computer run faster and more efficient. Now it's also important to note that in order to take advantage of hyper-threading, you have to run applications that take advantage of multi-threading technology. Heavy applications such as video editing and video encoding will take full advantage of a hyper-threaded CPU. But lighter applications such as loading a web page, you're not going to see much of an advantage of having a hyper-threaded CPU. Hyperthreading was first introduced by Intel back in 2002 and debuted on the Intel Pentium 4 CPU and Xeon processors and is still used today. In fact, I'm currently using an Intel i7 quad-core CPU on my personal computer and it also has hyperthreading technology. And if I open up my task manager, my operating system will recognize that I have four physical cores and eight logical or virtual cores.